Hey guys, Xbox Games here. Check it out. Yeah, we're back with another kind of bigger set uh, review here for one of these X-Wings. If you guys remember, check it out right there. We just did the uh, the original Poe Dameron uh, X-Wing. So you guys can kind of check it out there. To be honest, they are almost identical. I mean, part for part. But yeah, if you guys are curious on that one, check it out. We'll do a comparison video later on. And again, guys, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Check it out. We do giveaways every single Friday for Legos. So check that out. You guys can go check some of our past videos out if you guys want to get included on that. Anyways, let's get to um, this particular set. Now, you know, uh, again, a lot of you guys are going to ask, uh, you know, you're going to say, man, this this looks this looks exactly like the um, the X-Wing that you did before. And I'm like, yeah, it, I mean, if you kind of look here, it's, it is, again, almost identical. This is not going to be a comparison video, but you're right. It's almost the same thing, except the back is here a little bit different. But both of these were used by Poe, Poe Dameron, right? You, the the blue and gray one was his kind of original ship that he he, he flew into Jakku with. And, um, again, no spoilers, but, yeah, he does both of these. So, anyways, um, now we picked this one up at our local store. I think we picked this one for about, Jesus, about 100 bucks, I believe, or something like that. $90, somewhere right in there. Now, again, this is uh, uh, this is kit number 75102. This is Star Wars Pose X-Wing, right? I mean, instead of the Resistance X-Wing, which they called this one the Resistance X-Wing. Anyways, uh, yeah, so they call this one Pose X-Wing. Same thing. But, I mean, it looks awesome. Look at that. I, I mean, how can you go wrong? Now, it does come with technically four minifigures. To be honest, I don't know what I do with my minifigures. I put them in a bag or something, and they're missing. So anyways, but when I looked at the actual minifigures themselves, guys, they are the classic minifigures that you get um, with some of the other sets. So they're nothing that's, you know, particularly specific about it. It is kit again, 75102. And I believe it was about 800 pieces or about 720 pieces. So, you know, again, kind of the, the larger size... Um, kind of kit what you know when you get close to that thousand pieces now you do have some of these smaller pieces here kind of this i don't know kind of like mobile fueling station so it just kind of drives around you can kind of fill stuff up and fix whatever and then of course i'll get that out of the way you kind of have the you know up and atom where they can climb up into the actual cockpit itself but let's get into the actual ship itself because to be honest i mean again it is it is where it is what most people are curious about now the black and the orange here, I mean, I think it looks awesome. The ship is not as iconic, I think, as uh, as the blue as the blue and white one, but still, right? You kind of get this real sleek, awesome looking. I mean, it looks the orange. I mean, really sets this thing off. I mean, it uh, it I mean, again. It is when I saw it, it's like I gotta get I gotta get all of them. Now, there's a lot of functionality on this particular model that I kind of want to go over, but at the same time, I just want to kind of show you the actual unit itself to kind of show you, you know, what it's like you know, how it looks, especially if you're gonna play with this. I know a lot of people that get this are gonna primarily wanna use it just for a, like a desk piece or uh, some type of piece that, you know, it's just a look because you don't wanna, you don't wanna lose some of the key pieces on this, right? So right away, I mean, we do have the two stud shooters right here on the front, as you guys can kind of see on either side here and here. I, I already shot them and believe it or not, I already lost them. I shoot them like once and they're gone, guys. Um, on the actual bottom, if we check this out, we do kind of have these two studs here for, just placement as well as the front retracting gear here, which can lead up and go in, especially if the thing is going to uh, to kind of take off. So you can kind of bring it down and just bring this elbow out here and put it down in case you wanted to put it on your desk. The rockets in the back look awesome. Now you guys will also see in the back, it does have these colored bands. Now, um, depending on the colored bands you have, it can kind of vary. These ones are gray, so it's really, again, kind of up to you on uh, if you want to use the gray. They did have the blue for the other one. I like the blacks because, again, it, it blended a little more better in, I think, than, um, you know, the other ones. But, again, kind of up to you. I just picked the ones that kind of blended best. And it does have this functionality here. When you turn this, you can see that the, the, the wings collapse, right? So you kind of get that speedier... Uh, you know, kind of, <laughs> kind of look. So you can see, you just twist it, opens it up, twist it, goes back down. Real again, kind of up to you. We do have the four blasters here on the side, are kind of these missiles. You guys can kind of see them here and here. These are great. I, whoa, see, I usually don't shoot them because I'm gonna lose that. And it doesn't take away from the actual model if it were, you know, if it were gone. I mean, it doesn't really. I don't know. It, it's it's gone. Okay, cool. I think they could have done without it, but that's just me. But this particular model, again, I, you know, I love it. The look of it is great. The feel of it is great. 
I say if you're gonna pick this one up, definitely pick it up. You know, but again, I know the prices and everything like that for some of these sets can can be quite up there. So again, you could always start with something smaller like this with these micros that's you know start out at about nine dollars or so, so not too bad. Or you can bump up to the bigger sets, which like this one here. You know, this was, uh, I think this set was about 30 bucks. So you can kind of just pick and choose what fits your guys' budget. And I'm just kind of glad that I can kind of show you, you know, these particular models. I was hoping to put a little more finishing pieces on this. So you can see uh, on the resistance wing, I ended up putting some of these finishing pieces like right here and right here. I plan to do more, especially up here in the front. I didn't have any black shiny pieces that I could take away from my sets. So I will end up uh, hopefully putting some of the the clear finishing pieces right here, just to make it look a little more sleeker. Let me know what you guys think. Again, you know, I love this particular set. It's a great desk piece, a great toy piece that you can kind of fly around. Anyways, definitely subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. <laughs> Thanks again, guys.